Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, what I want to do now is I want to answer uh, uh, the, some of the questions that I've been asked repeatedly. And I want to answer them and, and try to uh, get people to understand a little more about what's going on. Uh, probably the, the biggest question that uh, arises more than anything is, why is it that I live down here? Okay, I live in Guatemala, uh, Central America. And uh, the, the first thing is I first moved down here like uh, 2003, something like that. And um, uh, I've owned businesses and stuff like that in the United States pretty much all my life. And uh, I could see that uh, the United States is really getting bad. Too many regulations, um, the control, uh, all this stuff was bad. And uh, like everyone, they're trying to think of a, a place they can go where they'd be safe and their family would be safe. And that's, uh, since my wife was from down here, uh, we were arranged marriage. Uh, I got a video on that too. A lot of the stuff I, I'm talking here, I've got videos on. Uh, but, and one of the other questions I had is, uh, uh, how do you find certain videos? And I'll answer that too. But, um, uh, like I say, uh, that's when I first came down here. And then uh, we became grandparents um, in 06. And then, uh, so we tried to move back. We already uh, established uh, a place down here. Uh, my wife's family uh, owns businesses down here. And so uh, we had a place to go. And now it's confirmed. We have a place uh, for uh, the family to come. Uh, but I say in 06, uh, I tried to move back. And uh, I say my wife uh, had a couple strokes. Uh, she loves medicine. That's why I don't like medicine. Uh, we were opposites. And uh, so uh, the medicine, the side effect was strokes, and that's what she was having. Uh, the last stroke, she was totally paralyzed. Uh, I had to use uh, my Hoi Chi uh, skills to get her back going again and um, in the United States to add on to the reason why I left the United States in the first place, uh, they said she had to have medicine. And uh, I said, well, the medicine's what was been making her sick. And they said, well, if she doesn't have her medicine, they're gonna take her away from me. So that just added on to another reason why we had to leave the United States. Okay, uh, now it's not like it's got any better. Uh, down here, uh, her family and her have died, uh, many in mysterious manners. Uh, matter of fact, uh, my wife was killed. I even talked about that. Uh, and um, so now I'm about, uh, well, I am the oldest um, in my family and her family. And, uh, uh, and not only the oldest, I'm old, the oldest male. And so uh, I, uh, I told them that I would stay here until we got this mess all straightened out. And what we're trying to do is, uh, uh, there's a many estates that are all messed up now, and that's what we're trying to do is get them all straightened out. And uh, once that this gets done, then um, uh, my life will be di different. Uh, now, this is really about my only obligation. Like I say, I obligated myself. And uh, uh, 
I personally uh, have little or no problems at all. Uh, probably about the the biggest problem I have is uh, um, I say I don't have a wife. I don't have anyone to uh, to uh, focus on. And so that's what I'm saying is uh, once that's one reason why I'm trying to find someone so I can get focused again. And uh, once that can, that happens, then I'm ready to move on with my own life, and uh, we, we can go from there. Uh, but really, the main thing is we have to get done with what we're what we have going on here. And like I say, uh, my life will never be the same once it gets done here. So that's why I was hoping to find someone uh, that could hold my hand as we go through another. Uh, adventure in life. Uh, but anyway, that's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, it's not really that safe um, when you compare it to uh, uh, U.S. standards. It's, uh, and you're looking at the numbers, it's not. But like I say all the time, things are just more obvious down here. I mean, uh, we have all the same problems. Uh, it's just more obvious. They just don't hide it so much. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm dealing with. So, but anyway, uh, uh, that's why I'm here. Okay, now, uh, in the way of the, the videos, trying to find videos, uh, I've had people ask me, they want to know more about certain subjects, and I got well over 700 videos out there. And uh, uh, some are um, uh, private, and uh, they'll be released uh, after my death. Uh, uh, my son is supposed to be taking care of that. And uh, that will answer even more questions. And, uh, uh, but, but anyway, uh, if I had a woman and she would help me, uh, I could uh, get uh, these videos uh, uh, cataloged better anyway. It would be easier to find. Uh, uh, some are, some videos I have are in more detail than others. And uh, I say, uh, because I have videos in uh, natural health and uh, 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 personal safety. Uh, if you don't quite understand the whole story, uh, you might get yourself in trouble. So that's why some of them are private. And uh, I also have others that are in DVD form. And uh, um, this, a lot of it is uh, uh, do it yourself type stuff. And, uh, but now, the same problem. I'm down here, so I'm unable to uh, market all this stuff. But it doesn't stop me from producing it and uh, getting it ready because there's going to be a time that I'm going to be back in the United States. And then I will have everything and I'll be ready to uh, get it sent out to people. Uh, like I say um, it's not right now. So that's why it's not that easy to uh, uh, find certain videos on certain subjects. But um, like I say, that's <laughs> just, I, I just got to work on it. I am sorry for the inconvenience. But um, like I say, I, I, it's right now, I think it's more important that I get this information uh, on something. Um, uh, because like I say, anything can happen. I mean, this is Guatemala, and uh, so I'm trying to get all this information down, and uh, like I say, uh, it'll, it'll be available uh, for sure when I get back to the United States, and other than that, I'm not sure how it's going to be working. Uh, I've been uh, wanting to uh, put it on the market in a way, like my books uh, are on uh, uh, Amazon.com, 
Um, I kind of like to do the same thing with my videos. Uh, the only thing I don't like about any of this kind of stuff, it's too easy uh, for this stuff to be lost. And that's why uh, I would rather have it under control of a real human that will take personal responsibility than uh, some big corporation, you know, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm sorry about the inconvenience about trying to find the videos. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you'll still, while you're searching and going through all these other videos, it might make you think and come up with other ideas. Ideas that could help you in your life. Okay, um, uh, another question um, I've been asked, and uh, they, they weren't really asking it being pleasant. And that is, uh, uh, what makes me an authority? And uh, I, uh, I really find it humorous because um, uh, I am not the authority. I really don't claim to be. What I do is share things that I've done or I've shared uh, ideas that I'm working on uh, and it really is to help people think about uh, different things. Now, uh, depending on how you're talking about authority, uh, uh, I catch a lot of slack from my, uh, my AR, I'm not, I'm not an AR type of person, and I catch a lot of people saying that I, I come across like I'm supposed to be an authority. Now, that type of a thing um, I am not I am not an authority like most people would think most people they look at tests and uh, you know they uh, they uh, they look at uh, what, you know what they call facts and uh, you know just different ways of, of um, uh, testing these these types of things and um, uh, the reason I come across like an authority on that is has probably has a lot to do with my 13 months in in the jungles of Vietnam in uh, combat and uh, uh, I hear people they tell me well you know the ARs are a lot different now than what they were and you know they then they start telling me all these tests and you know all these studies and stuff like that you know and I always come back uh, with the same thing uh, you take your, this AR that they've done all these tests before they do the test start beating to death people beat them to death with your rifle especially when they got a helmet and they got their gear on and stuff like that beat them to death with your AR and then run those tests and then that will be more of a reality on how uh, these different weapons will work uh, because I say uh, we didn't, well, we had to clean them because they didn't work. But even after you clean them, when you start dragging them through the jungle and, and at night you're cleaning them, you're losing parts and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, there's a, but I don't want to get into all this. But what I'm saying is that's what based, that's what I based my opinion on. And uh, if you want to look at that as an authority, good, you can look at it as an authority. So that's one, one way of looking at an authority. Uh, now you know, by watching my videos, I'm not an authority kind of guy. I mean, I don't like anybody that thinks they have authority over me. And uh, I had um, uh, a supper club on the Kansas-Oklahoma state line. And uh, we had two bars in there. And I didn't realize it until after I got the place that how much drugs are run through a bar. And so my job was not only to run the place, but I had to get rid of all the, the druggies and all this kind of crap. So uh, uh, there was times, and I, I made videos on that talking about I'd be carrying, you know, um, two, three, four firearms at a time. And uh, I would have to go out in the parking lot uh, to chase away all the druggies and uh, 
all the bad things that are going on out there. They would start partying, even drinking the beer and stuff like that. And since it was a, a nice supper club, people, uh, you would, a man would bring his girl out to dinner, and then if he's got, if he's going to get harassed by no telling what or even an ex boyfriends you know that's not good for business so I made a point to chase all the riffraff away and there was many times uh, they would I'd walk out and there'd be half a dozen or more cars out there and it's dark and uh, they would ask me the same question what gives me the authority to chase them away 